Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. All things wood from tree work to woodwork. In this video, it's two redwood removals. Uh, I take down the first one and then my apprentice takes down the second one. He's just starting to learn how to climb. And what I want to capture in this video is the difference between, um, you know, a little bit of experience and, and climbing for the first time. So I'm climbing up with a steel core slip line, electric battery, Husqvarna climbing saw, limbing all the way up, and then getting to the top and kind of using my climbing rope to tie off. So I have a double lockout, and then there goes the top. I just knocked the top off, and now I'm climbing back down to um, knock some blocks off and then get out of the tree. Uh, both he and I are both in five time time lapse video. I think this tree probably took me um, like two minutes of time lapse, which is probably t 10 total minutes. And he had probably 10 minutes of time lapse, which is probably 50 total minutes. But that just comes with experience. I mean, safety always has to come first before anything else. So this is the second redwood. This is the apprentice, my apprentice climbing here. Don't do this until you've been properly trained and trained up in safety. Uh, good way to do it is with a mentor to make sure everything's safe. Accidents in tree work are usually terminal, if not terminal, uh, catastrophic. So don't do any of this unless you've really been trained. It's a very dangerous line of work to get into. He's doing a fantastic job, really very comfortable in, his, in the spurs, um, limbing on the way up. Kind of misses a couple on the backside here where he kind of has to stop, spin around the tree, um, kind of reset, get a handsaw out and take them off. It's a good, good idea to use a handsaw anytime you're cutting near the flip line. You know, versus with a little experience, you're able to kind of climb up and roll around the tree so you could see all the limbs on it on the front and back both. The other thing that I try and do to help the ground men out is as they're coming off, I try and grab them and throw all the butts out in the same direction. So ground men could just kind of run in and grab a big pile and haul them out to the chipper. But again, that comes with experience and that's kind of point, the point of this video is just to get a different feel for a few more years of experience, um, how things just go a little more smoothly. You know, as you're trying to master your craft, you always try and work on ways to be a little more efficient, a little more comfortable. You always want to work smarter, not harder, especially as you're getting up to my age. Um, climbing is all about efficiencies and working smarter. So he's doing a great job. You could tell his hip position on that flip line is a little further out from the tree than mine was. And the problem with that is it just puts a lot more force on your knees and the and the bottom of your feet the spurs kind of cut into your feet a little bit more that way going he did a full 360 around the tree there so now the climbing rope he trailed is wrapping around the tree it is the groundman's responsibility to to pull that out so he doesn't have that wrap and resistance but what I do is I climb up, I probably go 180 around and then 180 back, 180 around, 180 back to make sure I don't miss any of the limbs. You know, small little things to make the job just a little bit easier. Also, spending a lot of time kicking and re-kicking his spurs in rather than just a good solid plant to start with. So it'd be nice to take a little bit big step seat the spur in really comfortably, step up on it and plant the other spur. And then, you know, both these trees had to get climbed because they are pretty tight in here. You know, I think it's maybe 20, 20 year old home. They're landscape trees when the tree was, when the house was first built. So there's an AC unit, a fence on the backside, a lot of landscaping below the house itself. So pretty small pieces. There's a little bit of concrete border around the lawn that if a block hits, um, do damage to. I, when I'm at the top on the first one, I was able to face it, come through the back with a lot of confidence that it would go the way I wanted with just a push of a hand. For him, I suggested a pull rope. So he pulled up that second rope up there, tied it pretty high, 
Now he's coming in his, the face and then cleaning out his face with a handsaw. It is a really important cut. If that goes over sideways or backwards, it's really a mess. The rope will get tangled into the climber. Um, working on his positioning a little bit, just getting everything just right. And now he's coming through the back with a handsaw, which is a safe way to do it. And then I'm on the pull rope, pulling it in a guaranteed direction forward. Um, he has two flip lines on there, one a lot lower down. So he, the flip line doesn't pop over the top of the tree and fall down. And then he's coming down to cut out a few blocks here. I did do some editing um, on some of this down climbing. You know, you, you could practice these face cut, these face cuts at ground level, so that when you're in the tree, um, they go a little quicker and smoother. But that was a beautiful job knocking that block out. I mean, he really is doing a great job. I'm cutting this block off. He's not going to do a face cut. He's just going to cut through one side and then the back leaving a couple inches in between the two with straight grain and then push it. And you can see when he pushed it there, it went a little too far off to his left, kind of towards the house in the AC unit. Luckily it was a pretty small block and it didn't hit anything. Um, but those are the kinds of mistakes that, that could really cost you a lot. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, you know, it's experience versus, you know, learning the trade. And like I said before, it just comes with time and deliberation. You know, if you're deliberate, you improve yourself and you become more efficient. So thank you for watching. Hit like if you like the video, the little bell for notifications if you want to see when my videos come out. And subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. I do tree work on the weekends and teach high school woodshop during the week. So I have both tree work videos, milling lumber, and then building wood projects. And um, that's what this channel is all about. So thank you for watching. Love to hear your comments below if you got any ideas on better ways to train or do, do good tree work.